here to YouTube, so like the guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not like, do not encourage, or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professional. Today, we're going to be talking about my stoner essential bag. This is a bag that I take with me whenever I go out, whether it's going long distance, short distance, if I'm going to hang out with my homies, if I'm traveling across the US. This is a bag that I kind of want to keep with me at all times if I do end up wanting to smoke wherever I go. Inside of this bag right here, I have all of my essentials and I'm not missing anything. This bag right here comes comes in very, very clutch and it literally allows me to chief either flour or concentrates or even dab pens all inside of this bag, right? So without further ado, I'm gonna be showing my 2023 stoner bag essentials. But before we get started, hopefully every single one of you watching this video is having a great day. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been following me for a while, thank you for the continuous support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like to help it with the algorithm. You already know for today's beverage of the day, we got ourselves a ghost energy. The same old, same old cherry limeade. So so I think I've can't, I'm soon I'm gonna be doing my top three favorite flavor, maybe even top five flavors of these because a lot of people ask me like, yo, is that the only one that you like? So I was like, you know what? Why not do a little bit of a rundown and let you guys know what, what are my top flavors to drink whenever I get these? Because like I said, I've drank so many different energy drinks and while I like Red Bull Monster and all of those, the, this, this right here is a little bit more like less caffeinated. It's like the perfect amount and it is a little bit more natural, right? I had, did have some comments talking about like, oh, they're using fake sugars, blah, 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 but hey, you know, it is what it is. We can't be perfect nowadays. This right here was the best option that I could get. It's either this or drinking like Red Bulls and Monsters, which we all know is a little bit worse than this. So ghost Cherry Limeade for today. Let's go ahead and take a quick sip and get started with the video. Tasty. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the bag of choice today. Now, usually I would probably end up choosing maybe something that would be a little bit more smell proof, but honestly, I really personally don't care, all right? Maybe that's for the people who live with someone and want to be discreet, but me personally, I live in California. I don't care if people know that I got the Zaza on me, and it is what it is, all right? So I have this Supreme fully red backpack that I got. I think it was like maybe two years ago or something like that that I ended up getting this bad boy. I'm not really too sure exactly what season it was from, but I've had this and it's like super durable, bro. No holes in this, no rips, no tears, and it looks super fresh. And my favorite color is red. It was just a dope backpack overall, right? But this is not really the important part, right? You could use literally a freaking $5 bag from Target. What matters is what you put inside of it. So I keep, every, even though this thing has so many zippers and pockets, I hate like having to scavenge through different types of zippers and pockets. I like to keep mostly everything in one pocket. That way it's just very easily accessible, right? So inside of here, the main pocket is where we got all of the goodies. I know you guys see that loaded up in here. So like I said in the beginning, everything that I have in here is pretty much just only meant for chiefing when you're on the go, right? It's not gonna be any cologne in here. There's not gonna be anything to keep it discreet. This is only strictly like if you're gonna go out and have a sesh, right? So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the main attraction, which is gonna be the flower jar. You always have to have some Zaza on deck. This one right here is the Helia Lemon. And obviously when you're chief in flower, you're gonna want to have yourself a nice little piece. Personally, when I'm out on the go, I want something quick, so I don't wanna have to be rolling up and it's just very inconvenient when you're on the go. So what I do is I just bring myself a glass piece and I keep it protected by keeping it inside of this Pelican case right here. This just keeps everything super secure and make sure that nothing breaks when it's just tumbling around in your car. And this comes in very, very clutch. I personally like to bring an extra grinder and not just any grinder, but a grinder that has multiple layers. That way you could just grind it and then everything is just all in one. You don't have to worry about dumping it out in a tray. You could just pack everything from right here, right? So a grinder is very useful because I don't know about you guys, but I personally 
personally hate hand braking stuff and I just feel like it's very inconvenient. So we still got a lot more stuff in here, but the other thing that I want to get to right away is going to be these right here, which is obviously going to be your disposable vapes, your 510 thread carts. I definitely feel like this is something that you must have in your carrying case, right? Because you don't know if you're going to be able to just chief flower or concentrates before you get to your location or whatever the case is, because it might just be too much and you can never go wrong with the conveniency of having your disposable just ready to freaking go ready to rip just like we're about to do right here right now slight little pull i think we have to do a little bit better than that though all right this thing definitely has to get warmed up but two slight pulls right there now let's get back into the talking and we'll take a little bit more hits a little bit further right so we got the flower down. I think the only things that we're missing is obviously going to be the lighter. Now, personally, when it comes down to lighters, you know, most people would just bring something like this, uh, just a casual Bic lighter, Zippo lighter, something like that. But if you really have to take into consideration, if you're going to a place and it's going to be windy and you really don't like, this isn't going to be sufficient. What I like to do is I like to bring along a little torch lighter. That way, if it's windy, this thing is wind resistant. And then that way I could still light up my Zaza and not really have to be like, damn, now I have to find a secret place for me to go to, go back to the car, whatever the case is, just to get this lit up, right? Remember, you have to think about everything and have everything in your stone or essential bag so now that we're done with the flower I think the only thing that I'm actually missing in here is a couple of q-tips to clean out your bowl after every single hit that way you could get some nice smooth hits but aside from that let's go ahead and hop into the wax portion of what I bring along if I want to smoke concentrates right ladies and gents obviously the number one thing is gonna have to be your hash your live resin your distillate your crumble whatever people chief on nowadays right here I have some hash and flowers honey bananas my my preferred choice definitely one of the more fire flavors out there and the main device that we're going to be chiefing that out of is going to be the puff co proxy now like i said since i'm out on the go i want something a little bit more convenient and yes i do have the puff co pro but that one's not really that easy to use this one right here just comes in super super clutch you don't have to fill it up with water just load up your dabs and inside of this bad boy we also have a little bit of q-tips and we also have to have a hot knife right you must have one of these bad boys because if not not, you're gonna be struggling having to freaking find a way to get your wax to unstick from the thing that way you can start chiefing and that's always a no-no always have to have a hot knife on deck whenever you're chiefing wax especially if you're out on the go now these last items in here I think there's only like one more item or two more things right here right so these last two items are really not that essential but they're good to have just in case you never really know why you may need them but it's gonna be a number one some eddies all right I don't know maybe it's gonna be a long drive till you get to your next place and you're just gonna be chilling and you want to pop a couple of edibles you can't chief it these always come in very very clutch and last but not least you already know that you have to stay hydrated and you have to have the bevy on deck obviously you're gonna have to have some water because when you're out on the go it's always best to stay fully hydrated and the only way to do that is to drink some h2o right ladies and gents so that right there pretty much just wraps up my stoner essential bags of what i pretty much bring whenever i'm out on the go and that way i could still get faded right so we're gonna go ahead and set this off to the side but I'm kind of curious, right? Now it's time for the session portion of this video, but I'm kind of curious. What would you guys bring? What would you guys have in your stoner essential bag? Maybe something that I'm missing out that's very vital to having when you're out on the go, right? But I think I covered most of it. Maybe bring a little bit of hand sanitizer, some wet wipes, who knows? But yeah, aside from that, I think I have everything that I need. Now let's go in on one more ripperino. <clears throat> Oof. This one's hitting all right. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember when I bought the super dope bubblegum poppers disposables. These things, I have not been able to finish them. I literally don't even like them that much. It literally just feels like if I'm chiefing a regular vape, right? This thing gets me like slightly buzzed, but that's just about it. Like literally the only reason I have it in my stoner essential bag is because I feel like if I'm taking anything with me on the go, 
it's gonna be something like this and I don't really care if I drop it break it or lose it and if maybe I find a homeless person out on the freaking go I'm just gonna go ahead and hand it to him because that's how bad this shit is alright ladies and gents but let's go in on one final smack Rooney and we're gonna end out the video here nothing all right so with all that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed today's quick little video let me know down in the comments below what am i missing in my stoner essential bag and don't forget to leave a fat like subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video